Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate, this time hopefully with less performance issues, uh, but uh, I guess we'll see. Now first of all let's talk to Karlak now that her heart is in a better state and see what she has to say about that. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Uh, let's find some evil for you to smack then. Um, we'll find more Infernal Iron and get you uh, that second upgrade too. I still can't touch you though. Um, we'll find more Infernal Iron. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Um, will you be alright? Uh, let's find you something to burn then. Sounds volatile, I'll keep an eye on you. Uh, will you be alright? Oh, fuck yes. I'm ready to burn all night. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Is it almost time for dinner? <laughs> soon, probably. Okay. No, actually, not that soon. We have one short rest left. But now let's, uh... Almost certain I've seen that ox someplace before. That ox? The strange ox? Oh, you... You've lost some health. One second, Karlak, you can talk to animals. Talk to the ox, please. No, incapable. Incapable of what? Not for you to know. Persuasion on nature? Um... <clears throat> Nature is a minus one roll for intelligence, oh man. Okay, persuasion, ah, come on. Now you've piqued my curiosity. 14. Ugh. No bonuses, okay, let's still try. That's a five, that's not gonna work. Let's use one inspiration to roll again. I mean, usually it's not Karlak that has to uh, do the skill checks. Usually that's me. That's <laughs> one better. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it one more, uh, one more shot, and then I'll give up on it. Come on. I mean, I'm gonna have to give up on it. Oh, very good. That does it. Your mind to mine. Well, that looks unfortunate. Are you satisfied? Uh, those are the least bovine thoughts I've ever seen. Uh, what are you really? Yes, thank you. What the hell was that? How does an ox like yourself have such horrifying thoughts? Um, those are the least bovine thoughts I've ever seen. Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. Uh, is that a threat? Whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding now. Your secret, uh, whatever it is, is safe with me. Um... Whatever you, uh, whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding now. All I wanted was a bit of hay. A good brushing and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Oh. Strange ox, and those are regular ox. Oh. That is a strange ox. What the... You're an ooze. Level 6 ooze. You're resistant to slashing damage, you're resistant to lightning, and you're immune to acid. Okay, but you're not immune to, like, piercing damage like this, right? Well, that's a miss, of course, but what can you do? Uh, can I... Can I not select the, uh... Uh, 
Come on now. Uh, where's the sword? There it is. Can I do that? No? Why can't... Uh, do I have to do that outside of battle? Okay, well, we're armed with torches then. Bit unfortunate, that. Oh, that was... A good hit. Will, um... How about we send you back? Okay, it's about to be done. I guess you're gonna step out of the acid. There we go. And there... Okay, they didn't really do anything, that's fine. Let's just use this attack. One of them is gonna hit, right? There we go. I don't think I'll ever look at an ox quite the same. Yeah? Sounds about right. Let's hope the acid goes away. Just when I think I've seen it all. At least it's dead now. Yeah, that's that's definitely the upside here. Don't burn yourself. Uh let's talk to the other oxen. Jeez. Strange fellow, that one. You sure made a mess of him. <gasps> we sure did. And you? I'm exhausted. You were making quite a ruckus over there. Hope everything's all right. Everything is better now, yeah. Okay, now let's see. Is there anything... in the uh, strange ox at this point? Um... Had to fire acuity. Fire acuity, uh, whenever you deal fire damage, you gain arcane acuity for two turns. What is arcane acuity? Uh, afflicted entity has a plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class per turn remaining. Okay, 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 okay. We could give that to Will, maybe. Yeah. I mean, Will has the um, fireball. So, um, it would look a bit weird on Will, but that's okay. Shapeshifter boon. When shapeshifting or disguising yourself, gain a plus 1d4 bonus to all checks. Okay, a bloodstone and malachite. I'll take that with me. Now let's quickly take a look at Will. Sharp as ever. Uh, like, if we hit the fireball, this is also fire, the scorching ray. So we have two attacks that would uh, trigger the hat to... Um, come into effect. Looks a bit weird, but I think we'll get used to it. There we go. Yeah, sure. Whatever. That That's Can't fine. That's fine. Now. now let's see what Damon has in store. I thought it was you. Saving my skin again, I see. Never seen a shapeshifted ox before. But I'm glad you dealt with it before it dealt with us. I'm glad to see you're all right. The way here was anything but easy, eh? Oh no. A makeshift harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. Is it... <sighs> Frame rates buckling after 10 minutes of recording. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. Okay, let's see if we can buy something. Um, let's see what you have. Uh, or oh, interesting materials, what do you mean? Let's ask I that first. hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. Okay. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful, but infernal metal is like a wild horse, powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique.
I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Okay. Um, let's see what you have. Sounds like you had an interesting time in the hells. Uh, sounds like you had an interesting time. Some of us had it easier than others. The baker, the schoolmaster. When El Toro was swallowed up, they could do little but survive. As for me, I won't say I enjoyed my time there. But it was certainly instructional. Let's see what you have. Okay, is the frame rate back? N it's getting better, I think. Okay, yeah, I think it's kind of back now. Let's see what you have. Uh, this is heavy armor, 18 splint armor, okay. Chainmail, heavy armor, 17. Studded leather armor, we could wear though. Uh, we could wear that. We might, that seems decent enough. 468 though. Um, superior padding, you take one less bludgeoning damage. Okay, we already have that, it's just one point higher in armor class. What's that? Breastplate, medium armor, medium armor, breastplate plus one. Scale armor, also medium. What's the armor class? 15, okay. A rapier with uh, five to 12. What is ours doing? Is that ours? The one we've been using? Okay. We could use some stronger attack. And a light crossbow, that's better than ours. One thing, just so we have the uh, direct comparison. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, this is just strictly better. I think I'm, I'm gonna take that. Gladly. Um, we need some of that anyways. Muddy red dye, orange dye, blue dye, pale orange dye. Arrow of transposition. Teleport wherever you fire this arrow. That could be interesting. Yeah, I'm not proficient with that stuff. There's plenty of stuff here. Sword of life stealing. Uh, on, on a critical hit, the target takes an extra 10 necrotic damage. As long as it isn't a construct or an undead, you also gain 10 temporary hit points. Sounds cool too, but uh, I think the rapier is better for us here. I'm also going to get the arrow of ice because that proved useful. Um, let's see, the other stuff, we don't really need that. I'm going to keep the, um, the shadow of Menzo Baranzan. I think I'm gonna take. Um, I'm gonna keep that. We're not proficient with that armor, anyways. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Ooh, arrow of undead slaying. Deals double damage to undead. Could be good to have. I'm gonna put that in uh, in here as well. I'm gonna sell the rapier that I'm currently using to replace it with this one. Um, Silver necklace, you can go in there. I mean, it's purely decorative anyways. Onyx ring. I think we don't need those. Oh, silver ingots. There you go. Malachite. Bloodstone doesn't seem to have any use. Jade as well. There we go, we're closing in on, you know, having everything. Fluoride shard, I don't know if that's useful still. Anything else that's just for selling? Silver amulet. There you go, do we have anything for like two? You can have a smoking pipe. And a feather. There you go, let's make that deal. That seems good enough for me. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna equip the rapier. 
so I don't forget before the next fight. Anything else we might want? I think that should be it. Yeah, I think so. That seems good enough. I'll be here if you need anything else. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Uh, let's look around a bit. Anybody else want to talk about stuff? Oh, oh no. Frame rate is, cra uh, is cracking again. Oh, you ran. Can't chat. I need to reinforce the barricade. Fair enough. I'm gonna leave you to that. Let's go inside here. Don't be shy. Have a gun. What about you? Best head inside. There's food and warmth to spare. All right, I'll take you up on that offer. <clears throat> now, anybody of interest in here? Don't wander far. We need to talk. Okay, Jahira, you are the uh, important conversation here. Um, who are you? Wait. You're all right. Thank goodness. I was ah, worried she was... you too. She was the one, um, she was the one playing the harp, right? Uh, was it the harp? She was singing it, it, much earlier on, I think. Um, I'm glad you made it too. Uh, it's one hell of a curse. Um, you think a few shadows could beat me? I see some familiar faces, but where's everyone else? Uh, I'm glad you made it too. It wasn't the curse that did us in. We were ambushed out in the darkness by cultists. <clears throat> we surrendered, but that wasn't enough for them. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids, telling them it was going to be all right. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first, then his tongue. Um, how did you survive? Uh, which one was Ashrak again? Wandering into the darkness was a stupid idea. Uh, how did you survive? Roland of all people saved us. Well, that's. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. Roland, the apprentice wizard, uh, you're lucky to be alive. What did the cultists do to the others? Um, the apprentice wizard? Yes. He shielded me and the kids while his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. Roland isn't taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? Um, just take it one step at a time. I'll let you know when I figure it out. Uh, danger is my life. I wouldn't change it for the world. I take what uh, I take what I'm due, and I don't look back. I don't complain constantly. It's very annoying. Um, I'll let you know when I figure it out. We're in the same boat then. That's somewhat of a comfort. Did that person in the background just drop down? You've done so from much for us already. Somewhere high up. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. You know I can't say no to stuff if like that. They're not that. dead. They're in moonrise. And oh. God have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Probably gonna take a while until we're there. I, I'd say. Uh, don't worry, I'll find them. I'm sure they're fine. Probably, uh, probably being held for questioning. I imagine the cultists are torturing them right now. I'll find them. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there. All right? I can't handle anyone else dying. Folk hero. A smile better suits. I'm inspired and Will is as well, I assume. He always gets the same inspiration because he's also a folk hero. 
There we go. Okay, anyone else here to talk to? Ceres? Seems someone's been skimming our supplies. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. I heard you were ambushed by the cult. It sounds brutal. I don't see Sevlor. Don't tell me he's missing as well. The inn is old, but death trap is a bit much. So you managed to miss all that trouble at the grove. Convenient. Um, don't, I don't see Sevlor. Don't tell me he's missing as well. Aye, and more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Sevlor froze. Begged us to surrender. But... They were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Uh, have hope. You survived. I'm sure the others did too. So you abandoned them. Uh, you did right. Uh, you do not want to be a prisoner of the Absolute. Uh, what are you doing out here to begin with? Uh, you were bound for Baldur's Gate. Uh, yeah, let's ask about that. This army of the Absolute is growing and flowing towards Moonrise. There's worse than goblins on the roads now. I thought we might pass unnoticed along the fringes of this place. Escape the Owlbear by hiding in its shadow, so to speak. You can see exactly how well that went. I see. Uh, don't lose hope, the others might still be alive. Uh, sounds like you made a right mess of it. Uh, still, you're here, better than being a prisoner of the Absolute. Don't lose hope. Yeah, don't lose hope. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. All right, now let's see. I'm gonna do a quick save. Hopefully that could bite us some time. Some uh, perf Looks performance like issue free time. Right I guess here. we'll see. No, okay. Um, I'll wait for it to calm down a bit. I'll make a cut here. I'll see you in a second. Okay, uh, that's looking better. Let's talk to Jahira. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my God! To your very good health. Um, to your very good health. Um. You'll have to pardon my friend Karlak. She's very excited to meet you. I'm not thirsty. Um, meet her stare head on as you examine her body language. Um, okay, let's try that. We should have some inspiration as well. Oh, we just have to uh, surpass a six. And we did that on both rolls. Very good. There we go. Let's continue She's that. anxious for you to drink the wine first. And it's an anxiety you recognize. Not every knave prefers a blade in the ribs or arrow in the back. Some prefer poison. Um, if I drink this, how long before the poison you've added kills me? Uh, sniff the wine. Okay, we have a we have a advantage here. 
Let's try that again. Just need a six again. Let's uh, let's go for it. And we succeed in flying colors. There we go. Great success. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. No, but it spoils my trust. Uh, I prefer using uh, Venyan's breath for interrogations. Uh, it doesn't carry a scent. Uh, drink the wine or decline the wine. I'm gonna say that first. No, but it does leave the subject paralyzed. Whatever comes after, I would have you standing on your own two feet. Okay, let's drink it. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Um... I see now why you spiked my wine. Yes, the parasite is giving me uh, giving me powers I never had before. It's changing me for the better. Saving throw, despite knowing you're under the effects of a drug, try to deny the tadpole has any influence on you. Um, should we just be honest? I think we should just be honest here, right? Yeah. I'll just be honest. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Of course you can. Um, you can trust me. Whatever happened to me uh, being the godsend you've been praying for, trust doesn't matter, I'll get the job done, that's all you need to know. Uh, you can trust me. Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. Okay. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. And who was that man? Can we ask that? Uh, if he's back, perhaps you uh, should have hit him harder in the first place. Um, who was or is he? General Gadric Thorm. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Catherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We'll see about we that. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. 
Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. Okay, now let's see if we can do anything about that guy at some point. I mean, I'm sure he's like one of the last, one of the later boss battles, I would assume. You are that hope. All right. Uh, what do you have in mind? Uh, you think I can kill him? I don't think so. Uh, what do you have in mind? Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Uh, Catherick's days are numbered. I'll make sure of it. You want to make use of my infection. I want to be cured of it. Seems like I'll be doing most of the heavy lifting. I'm not doing this. Um, yeah, his days are numbered. We need to get Without rid of this. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. That would be appreciated. <laughs> Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. All right. Maybe make use of that, Until make a then, crawl out. We keep drinking wine when we meet. Uh, how do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Okay. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. For a second there, I was like, wait, Isabel, I remember that name. Did we meet them before? Um, then I realized, no, there was a character named Isabel in Disco Elysium as well, so I, I, I just mixed that up. Um, the old washerwoman from the fishing village is not going to be here. And um, yeah, okay, but I have to do something about the frame rate. And I realized that... Um, it's probably the fire, right? Fire usually is... Yeah, see? We're scrolling to the fire and it's getting worse. I'm gonna quickly go to the, um, to the, you know, to the menu and change the graphics of the fire maybe, make that maybe a little more digestible. Uh, and I'll see you when I'm done with that.